You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to, safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love, O Sacred Heart, O Lord. May our hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies, as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often close our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you, King of Kings, praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And it's been brought to our attention recently, uh, the, our brothers and sisters in Iraq. And we pray, Lord, that you have mercy on them that you bless them and protect them. But let us not forget our brothers and sisters in Syria and in Egypt and Saudi Arabia and all the parts of the Middle East and our brothers and sisters in Korea and China where they also are persecuted. Many parts of the world where every day is a challenge for many of our brothers and sisters. So we must always remember them in prayer. And so we pray, Lord, that you send your Holy Spirit to descend upon them, and that your Holy Spirit will strengthen them in all goodness, and the Holy Spirit will fill their hearts with joy and contentment, with hope, and with a great love, a love so great that they will be able to love even those who persecute them. And we pray for those who persecute them. Have mercy on them, Jesus, and touch their hearts also. Strengthen them in all goodness. And transform their hearts that they may become your followers. We pray for all bishops. Especially Archbishop Rossum, Bishop Hampton. We pray for all the apostles, priests, deacons, missionaries, all the evangelists, all the religious, and all people in your church and we pray for those who are sick especially those who suffer from cancer lupus multiple sclerosis diabetes autoimmune diseases 
mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for grieving families. And we pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the, to, to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Help us to be strong in you, God. Forgive me. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field. That upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace. As you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon your servants, gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. 
I'll take you a sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you. Imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart. For in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us, and I hope you'll be able to join us later on today as we do afternoon prayer and evening prayer. I will say this, the weather here in Florida today is really bad. And of course, normally when we have bad weather like this, or electronic and uh, or devices uh, tend to have difficulty working. Um, the power went out of once already and the computer was shut off once and so anyhow uh, hopefully the weather will allow our technology to work uh, at any rate if for some reason we can't come on you could use some of the previous prayers and the only thing that you have to do is change the portion where we pray for the church and the people in the church you could add your own prayers in there and also uh, you could uh, uh, use the prayers that are there now so, other than that, it's essentially the same prayers um, for afternoon and essentially the same prayer for the evening. Um, so, you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day, and I'll see you later, God willing. Have a good one.